Hello everybody and welcome to English Speaking 360. Today we are giving you 10 funny insults in English and these are expressions that you must know. But before we begin, I have to give you a warning. The insults that we see today can hurt some people, so please use them carefully. Usually, native speakers use them to joke around with their friends. This is very important. And also, don't use them with people you don't know, because it could be dangerous. Let's go. The first expression is, he has a face only a mother could love. Now, I give you three options. What do you think is the meaning of this expression? A. He is ugly. B. His mother loves him. Or C. He looks like his mom. You ready? And the answer is... He is ugly. So we say he has a face only a mother could love when he has a very, very bad face. His face is so bad that only his mother loves to see him. So, of course, you can use it with your friends. So when your friend says, oh, I'm so handsome, and then you say, oh, yeah, you have a face only a mother could love. And then your friend is going to laugh. The second expression is, don't quit your day job. A. You should get a second job. B. You are bad at something. Or C. You need a lot of money. The answer is, B. You are bad at something. Imagine your friend is singing, la, 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 and you're like, oh my God, it is terrible. So you can say, don't quit your day job. It means keep the job that you have now. Keep your current job because you cannot get a new job as a singer, for example. Third expression, put a sock in it. A. Do the laundry. B. Be quiet. C. Put your shoes on. The answer is be quiet. So, put a sock in it. What is it? It is your mouth. So, it means put a sock in your mouth. So, it actually means shut up or be quiet is more polite, of course. He's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. A. He is stupid. B. His knife doesn't cut. C. He is not a good cook. The answer is... He is stupid. Okay, this one is a little bit challenging. So, in the drawer, you have a lot of utensils. Forks, spoons, and you also have knives. Many knives. So, if you want a good knife, you will pick a sharp knife. If the knife is not sharp, then it's a bad knife. It's the same for people. A sharp person is an intelligent person. If the, sharp, the, the person is not sharp, it means the person is stupid. A similar example to he's not the sharpest knife in the drawer He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. It also means he's stupid. It's just another version. So the shed, as you can see in the picture, it is in the backyard. It's a small place where we put all the gardening tools. So, of course, gardening tools are sharp. So if a gardening tool is not sharp, it means it is stupid. I have two left feet. A. I am handicapped. B. My shoes don't fit well. Or C. I'm not good at dancing. And the answer is... C. I'm not good at dancing. Shall we dance? Oh, sorry, but I have two left feet. No worries, I'll teach you. So this one is an insult, but it's actually used very often to insult yourself. So, I have two left feet, okay? Good. He's not playing with a full deck. A. He is a cheater. 
B. He is crazy. C. He likes to gamble. The answer is... He is crazy. Okay, this on the right side is a deck of cards. In a deck of cards, there are 52 cards. You can't play cards if some of them are missing. So if you play a game with missing cards, the game is not going to work. So only a crazy person would play with a deck that is not full. Okay, Boomer. A. Yes, let's party. B. The bomb is ready. C. You are old. The answer is... You are old. Okay, <laughs> now a boomer is somebody from the baby boomer generation. Okay, now for example, if you look at the little guy there, he says, young people are so lazy these days. Now... If you say this, many people are going to say, Ah, okay, boomer. It means your way of thinking is outdated. You are out of touch with reality. This expression can also be used with people of any age. It means your way of thinking is old. It doesn't mean only that you are old. You're confusing me with someone who cares. A. I'm not who you think. B. You made a mistake. C. I don't care. The answer is C. I don't care. Okay, now imagine this situation. You are confusing me with Tom Cruise. So you think I am Tom Cruise, but I'm not Tom Cruise. In this case, you're confusing me with someone who cares. It means you think I care, but I don't care. So it's a funny way to say I don't care. He's got a few screws loose. A. He is crazy. B. He needs a screwdriver. C. He is not organized. The answer is A. He is crazy. We have many expressions to talk about crazy people in English. Now this one, if the screws are loose, of course the machine will not be working well. It will be malfunctioning. So if a person has a few screws that are loose, it means his brain is not working well. So it means he is crazy. The lights are on, but nobody's home. A. He forgot to turn the lights off. B. His power bill is high. C. He's not paying attention. This one is a little bit harder. The answer is C. He is not paying attention. Look at the little guy. He's like, huh? What? What? Uh? He's lost. He's confused. He was not paying attention. So, the lights are on. Usually in a house, when the lights are on, it means somebody should be home. Now, in this case, the lights are on means he is okay. His eyes are open, his body is okay, he's there. So his brain should be working, but his brain is not working. So the lights are on, but nobody's home. You can also use it to say that somebody is stupid. Good job, guys. Now, which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.